My name is Dakota Man Movies, and I love movies really well. So now, let's review Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's get right into it. So let's start this review off. This is a spoiler review. So oh, let's start off with my thoughts. So, my thoughts for this is... If you guys don't know, this was this show was originally going to be a movie. It was originally going to be a movie. So, that means most of the things that were boring in this series to me was the parts that were extended for the show. Like, for example, episode 4. I'm pretty sure that scene was, that entire episode is supposed to be five minutes long in the movie. Something like that. So you see it, my chair is so loud. <laughs> so, um, so that, 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 dies, that dies it down. Okay? So, for me, this, this show was boring at some parts and exciting at other parts. Like, the first three episodes and part of the last were exciting for me. Other than that, I found this show to be quite boring. So, those are my thoughts on it. So, now we're going to break down each episode one by one. Starting with episode one. So, episode one was kind I'm of... bad directing. A couple of these episodes do. Like, for the part when Princess Leia is being chased by these, like, pretty much kidnappers. She's running through the forest. She's able to slip through a tree and duck under a branch. Here's, here's like, a grown man running. And then he sees the branch right in front of him. He goes and bangs his head right on it. I, I could think of a million other ideas I could have done to have Princess Leia run away. She ends up getting captured anyways. So, I mean, like, what was the point of all that? But I could find other ways that these adults get trip and they was able to get away and get captured by someone else. But you just see these grown men can't get around the tree. Like they can't walk around the tree. They go like the other way. That's probably like my big issue with episode one. So that's like pretty much overall it's a good story. Princess Leia gets captured. Obi Wan Kenobi has to go rescue her. Leading into episode two. So, my thoughts on episode 2 were... I, I don't think I had any problems with it. So, yeah. So, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi gets Princess Leia. He says his name is Ben. She's like, that's not a Jedi name. He saves her from falling off a building. And, yeah, they leave the planet. And then, that I don't know his name, but that one guy. Nice. <laughs> from, I think... Like that, that one girl, I don't know their names, I know it starts with an R. Like Remy? No, not Remy, that's from Red Right, anyways. So yeah, he dies, Obi-Wan Kenobi finds out that Anakin is alive. It ends with him turning, showing him in the suit. And then we go to episode 3. I liked it most of all, but there were some issues like this. When he sees the Stormtrooper's guards in the last episode, his face was a bounty. How did the stormtroopers not capture him when they saw him? But then, they go through this gate. Darth Vader's killing citizens for Obi-Wan to come out. And then, they fight. Darth Vader knocks over fire and drags Obi-Wan Kenobi through it. And then, he's able to get away. And then, and then Vader just watches and the troopers are like, Oh no, we can't get through because of all these fires. But Vader could just use the force and moved it or use the force and grabbed Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, forced pull. He does that in, like, episode 5, so why couldn't he just do it here? It's just lazy writing. Moving on to episode 4. Now, this is when I started to not like this show. So, what it was... Like I said, this, this episode could have been, like, 5 minutes long. Same thing with episode 5. It could have been 5 minutes long. Episode 6 is fine with the length. It's a final. So... Yeah, we're fine with that. So yeah, I, this episode should be like 10 minutes max. It starts with Obi-Wan healing from the fire, as he healed incredibly fast. 
he goes to save Princess Leia. And there's just a lot of problems with this. They didn't know it was a suicide mission when Wei died. Obi Wan Kenobi is walking with the get Leia back to the ship. He's walking in a raincoat, or like in the coat with Leia inside the the like. If you hold the coat, he, she's like right here in it. So yeah, this it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, and then what happened? It's just weird. So she's trapped, right? The she, trooper is all around her. She doesn't have no weapons. How she gets through? She smacks the stormtrooper. She's able to escape. I hope that I hope that was edited out of the movie. If it was a movie, because that was, she all she does is boop, and then he knocks out, and she's walks right through. That's not stupid. So then we move on to episode five, which I think should have been shorted out, but overall it was fine. Vader comes, and then. Pretty much tries to get Obi Wan Kenobi. I watched the reaction. Someone cried when a robot died. I'm not that into this so much. So people are people are they're like crying when a robot died, and someone sacrifices themselves. But anyways, so Vader pulls down the ship. He tears through it, and then there's no one in it. And then the ship behind it blasts off. So I don't I didn't know why he just didn't grab it and pull it back. I think it's because he ran out of energy, and then. That one girl, I don't know her name, I know it starts with a car. She tries to kill Vader because she knows he's Anakin. It doesn't say how, I assume because the um the the clones called him Lord Vader, is my guess. But yeah, that's my guess. And then she tries to kill him, Vader ends up stabbing her again. So she was stabbed when she was a kid too. Two. And then the person she stabbed in episode two is back alive. That, that didn't make any sense, but okay. Because it means everyone survived a lightsaber stab besides Qui-Gon. But anyways, episode 6. When Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi leaves the, the ship where everyone else is. He goes down and Vader follows him. They fight on this like rocky planet, kind of. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi splits um, Darth Vader's mask. And he's able to see Anakin. Obi-Wan Kenobi escapes but there's like no come back here and then um over where luke is that girl i don't know her name she survived the the um, um the lightsaber stab again and she trying to kill luke right before she's about to she notices she became anakin and stops and returns luke because he fell down and is passed out and then um, it ends with Vader telling Palpatine his plans to destroy everything till he finds Obi Wan Kenobi, which I think is when the Death Star it was made. So yeah, and then it ends with Princess Leia back on her home. She says goodbye to Obi Wan Kenobi, but this instead of calling him Ben, he calls him Obi Wan Kenobi. Now, that's a problem. It it creates a small plot hole. Not that big though. This is a small one. Then in the meshes in the New Hope, why didn't she just say, "When I was a little girl, you helped me when I was younger, when I was captured," instead of saying, "My father told me you fought in the Clone Wars with him." She could have just said that, helped him as a like when she was younger. Maybe she forgot about him. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure the name would have reminded her when her father told her about him in the Clone Wars. But yeah, so overall, I found the show pretty boring. Um, if you want to watch Darth Vader action, like, it's not that full of it. If you want to watch Obi Wan Kenobi Return, a little bit of nineteen-year-old Anakin in Episode Five. You, like, it's it's a fine show. It's watchable, but there's just a lot of bad directing and it's boring at some parts. So, you can watch it or skip it. Your choice, but that's my review on Obi Wan Kenobi, the entire series. And we're gonna see you in my next video. And bye.